Welcome to the Intuitive Hour with psychic medium, author, and intuitive life coach, Michelle Beltran. The Intuitive Hour will empower you to learn how to magnify your intuitive voice. Listen in and expand your understanding of what it means to be psychic and how to awaken, amplify, and trust your inner voice. Hello, hello, and welcome. Thank you, everyone, for being here with me today for another episode of the Intuitive Hour, Awaken Your Inner Voice. I'm your host, Michelle Beltran. Always, it is an honor to have you here with me. Thank you for being here. Okay, we are talking about sensing spirit energies today. We are segueing into the world of mediumship as we consider this technique to help you develop the skill of mediumship and what it feels like to sense spirit. So, step one I want you to consider choosing two people, one living and one deceased, whom you know very well. You will need a picture of them, so dig back in your photo albums or in your drawers and various places you keep pictures of these special people, or perhaps it's sitting right on your mantle in your living room. Pull that out. We need two pictures, one of each, one living and one deceased. It's very important that you're familiar with these two people you've chosen because you'll also since you know them, be familiar with their energy. Right now, that matters. It's much easier to learn how to sense energy when you know the person and you've had some kind of relationship with them. Next, be sure to have a notebook and a pen or you're going to be recording what you experience in a number of steps as we begin. Uh, First off, we'll sit in a nice, comfortable, relaxed position. You need not do this right now with me. You can do this away from our episode today. Be sure to just take notes. But as you're in this space of sensing energies and working on this technique, indeed, you are sitting in a relaxed position. You want to place your non-dominant hand over the photo of the living person, palm facing upward in an attitude of receptivity. Then, I want to ask you to give some thought to that person. Remember to be mindful of your breath here. Breathing in and breathing out, rhythmically, calmly. In a space, again, of giving thought and remembrance to this person who was living, their photo on your lap, your hand touching it with your palm facing upward, receiving information and data. You don't have to look at the photo, but rather just feel the thoughts of the person as the thoughts begin to emanate through that photo through to you. You might also have all of your other senses open, and if you You may be receiving information through smell, through hearing, through taste, touch, emotion. It may not just be a thought that you see, so be mindful of that. But let all of that information come forward in this space. Then take a moment to record what those memories are, what came to mind, and what, most importantly, what feelings you sense inside and outside of your body as you're connecting with this photo of this living person who you know, can you see what that person is wearing? Do you hear their voice? What are they saying, if so? Is there a smell present? Perhaps your grandfather smokes a certain kind of pipe pipe and you smell that? Are there colors that you see? 
animals, events, symbols, anything. Write everything down that presents itself to you. This information is directly connected to this spirit's energy. And keep in mind, there is no right or wrong in this process. There just is. And what you receive is valid and real and accurate, and it has meaning, even if you don't know what that meaning is in this very moment. All right, next, when you're ready, we want to go through this same process with the second photograph, the photograph of the deceased person that you knew. You'll place that picture on your lap, your non-dominant hand over it, facing upward in a position of receptivity. Again, give an easy and gentle thought to him or her, and just allow yourself to be a receptacle for receiving whatever comes in whatever way, through whatever sense. Sense the energy of the picture and visualize the individual. Take notes, then, of all that you have recalled about this. Most importantly, tune into their energy, tune into the emotion and the feeling. Also, release any desire to fixate on any particular thing or memory. Let whatever is going to come, come. Just breathe and receive and gently focus. That is your work, sensing the energy that is there. Now, step three, take time to now jot down the unique differences between the energy and feeling of the deceased person versus the living. There is a difference. It may be slight, but trust that your subconscious self has fully grasped that difference, no matter how slight or grand. Your conscious self may not be so attentive and may need more time and practice in order to become more aware, but your subconscious self has gotten it. All right, so practicing this technique is a very valuable gateway, if you will, for opening yourself up to the spirit energies. It is like saying, hello, I am ready. So you want to repeat this exercise several times as you develop. When you become more adept, try adding photographs of people you don't know. That will be the next session, the next strategy, that are living and deceased. You might, in so doing, consider well-known leaders, athletes, or other influential people. The reason for that is because the energy of these people, uh, Michael Jackson, for example, whom we all know, their energy is very grand and unique and strong, and it's easier to discern. So you might consider that in your next process of working through this exercise again. In time and with consistent practice, you will be able to clearly distinguish a concrete feel for each energy type, living and deceased. With that, we will bring our episode to a close. Once again, thank you for being here. As always, for any questions. Please call 800-607-1770 or send me an email at mbeltran at michellebeltran.com. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Thanks for listening to the Intuitive Hour with Michelle Beltran. If you like what you heard, please share our podcast with a friend. And be sure to visit michellebeltran.com to get Michelle's popular Develop Your Clairvoyance ebook.